Good morning, everybody. Hello. Okay. Welcome to our very first jamboree. And that's why our hashtag is R Jamboree. The letter R Jamboree. Yeah, get it? Yeah, because not everybody likes my humour. They don't always get it. Right. But what I want to do is just give you a couple of. I don't want to tell you all about me and all that kind of stuff. You can find that out later on. What I want to do is I want to very quickly move on to our first speaker. Before I do, there's a couple of technical things that I want you to get the most out of today. So I want to share with you what I want to get out of today from you, and then hopefully you will, you will get what you want. So I know that there's some people here who've, who left their home two days ago to be here. There are some people who've flown from, um, we've had people who've flown from Portugal to get here. We've had people who've come from Sweden. Where, Karen, where are you? Ah, so Karen wants to start a raspberry jam up in Sweden. We've got uh, somebody's come from Bahrain. Where are you? They're, they're probably still trying to collect their baggage at Manchester Airport at the moment. Okay, so we've got people who've travelled from all over, and, and people have been working through the night to get everything ready for you today. So some of us, then we might have smiles on, but we might be like this. Some things may go wrong as the day goes on, but by all means, ask. If you don't understand, something doesn't make sense, then ask somebody. We do have some people with pink t-shirts on, which will help you, but there are people who haven't got pink t-shirts on that can help as well. Now, I hope that you're all here for two things today, which is that you're hoping when you leave us later today that you're going to leave enthused and excited and at the same time understanding, ah, now I get it. So this, this this Raspberry Pi, I've got it now. So when you go back to schools and colleges and universities or, or home with your family, you'll have a little bit more of an idea about what the point of this thing is. Because some people don't really get what the point is. So it's, this is all about helping people understand the potential that this has to, to, to change the way that we are. But there's some people who, who already know that and they've come here today because they're really excited and enthused about what you can do with this. They already know the potential but they want to hold jams in their areas. I mean, we've got jams in Manchester, Preston, Durham, Newcastle, Bristol, Tokyo, Silicon Valley, Singapore, Istanbul. Uh, we've got jams all over the world. But there's some people here who they, they just need a little bit more help and guidance so they can organise a jam in their town or their city uh, or their school or their scout hut. So I'm hoping that today we'll give you some ideas about how you can organise. So today is not a, a raspberry jam. It's a raspberry jamboree. And E is important because E stands for education. And today is all about how can we educate people all about the potential of the Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm going to give you just a couple of rules today. Y you'd expect that because I'm a teacher. So I'm going to set down some ground rules. One is talk to strangers. <laughs> talk to strangers today. Because strangers are just friends you haven't made yet. And somebody, you'll be talking to somebody today, and as you're talking, halfway through, like I was talking to Paul before, halfway through the conversation, you'll think, oh, you're the guy I've been talking to on Twitter, but oh, oh, right, oh, yeah, you know? So it's like we have friends in the outside world, in virtual world, and we have friends that do all this kind of stuff. So talk to strangers. The other thing is, um, I can't read my handwriting. <laughs> um, all of this happened today because of a great number of organisations, which I'm going to mention in a moment. But we've got this fantastic education festival happening just outside as well. I mean, you probably heard lots of people buzzing yesterday talking about this fantastic educational event happening in Manchester. But there's another one happening outside as well. That was a joke, yeah? <laughs> Great, OK. So it's the Education Innovation Festival. So today, because of that, we want you to find out about all these great things that are happening out there. So Everybody, I'm asking you to use those doors over there. You might not have come in those doors, but that's the doors that I want you to keep using all day to get out there. And I'll tell you what's out there in, in, in just a moment. So when you go out those doors, there's all sorts of people who want to talk and they want to find out. I've got, I could have given another 100 tickets away to this event. I could have done, but we wouldn't have fit the people in. So there are people who are out there who really wanted to come in. So you can go out and you can tell them a little bit about what you've learned. Now, and also, you might need to go out there because there's toilets yeah? It says there's toilets over there, but the door is locked. Because I want you to go out, and I want you to go out and discover the world outside. Now, this couldn't have happened today without some great partnerships and organisations. And, in fact, this couldn't have happened if you'd not come here today, because it's just me standing, talking in a room with, to myself. So, thank you for coming. But at the same time, I want to thank 
some of our key sponsors. So CPC, you've probably seen mention of their name. You may probably never heard of them before, but they're, they're, it was an easy one for me to choose because I live next door to CPC. And since I've been 11 years old and interested in computing, I'm able to go in and buy all the stuff that I need from CPC. And I've always had great experiences with them, so I want to share that. And that's why I'm happy to do everything I'm doing with CPC today. But I've got some other new friends. I've got my friends at Frog. You, you, you may have heard about Frog, because Frog's one of these virtual learning platforms that lots of people have heard about, but they've got some other things that you may not have heard about, like Frog Us. That's their, that's their new product, and it's all about mobile. So if you've got one of these tablet things or one of these iPads, you can, you can, you can put it on one of those as well. So Frog, I'm happy to support Frog. Now, you might be looking around the room and you're thinking, he hasn't mentioned Bitemark yet, so there I go. Now, Bitemark, Something will appear. Bite Mark, we always know, will deliver. Something will always come, whether it's going to be a T-shirt or a mug or something. But Bite Mark, people don't often know this because they provide the services, they provide the infrastructure, they do hosting. So some people, some of you will have websites that are hosted by Bite Mark, and that's why I'm really happy for them to be a partner. I've mentioned education innovation, which is which is everything that's happening outside. We've also got a great group in Manchester. We've got loads of groups in Manchester, as well as Coder Dojo and Manchester Girl Geeks and all those. We've got the BCS in Manchester as well. And they've done a huge amount to help make this happen. And there are some people, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention their names now. So there's Andrew, let us know where you are, Andrew, just so people can see you. Now, Andrew's a bit shy, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, he, but he is here somewhere. And we also have Haroon. Hello. Hello, Haroon's over there. And you might wanna say to them, why are BCS Manchester involved in this? You probably know, but go, go and ask them and find out. And we've also got OCR. Has anybody heard of OCR? Who, what OCR do? <laughs> now, you've not been to school for a while because you were told not to shout out. Oh, you put your hand up. <laughs> Great. So because you put your hand up, I want you to catch now. Okay, so you've got a little prize from OCR. And I'm going to give out lots of these during the day. So OCR are an exam board that, that teachers spend a lot of time trying to choose the right exam board. Me, at the moment, I'm using OCR with, with my classes and they've got a huge stand outside and they've got loads more robots and pens and pencils and they've got things like these. Who likes jelly babies? Oh, you put your hand up. But the little girl over there put her hand up as well. Do you know any teachers? Yes, well, could you come here, please? Because I want you to find somebody. Now, some people think to be a teacher, you have to go to university for three or four years. Could you show somebody how to do something? Yeah, so you could be a teacher. And they've got lots of stuff like that. So you can, you can actually make that jelly baby scream using a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> now, um, what else do I mean to mention? So I need to tell you a little bit about what's happening today so that you can find your way around. So I'm hoping that most of you picked up one of these. If you haven't, just call by the welcome desk later and you can pick one up. And you may also have, and if you don't, the person next to you will have one of these CPC badges and you flip it over, you've got like a little guide that tells you what's happening. That's really handy. So I'm going to refer. So, okay, everybody. We're looking at the top left-hand corner of the sheet. Yeah. Come on, I'm a teacher. This is my job. Yeah. So we're looking at the top left-hand corner where it says CPC up in the corner and we're going to work our way down the sheet. Oh, did I not give enough sheets out? So some of you are going to have to share. One between two. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. I'm glad you've come. So we've got lots of things happening today. I'm not going to read all those out because I know you can read. Keynotes, talks, panel discussions, the pie shop, raspberry mastery, slices of pie, and raspberry ripples. So now I'm going to refer to the map, which is just below. So you might not have a map in front of you at the moment, but I'm going to tell you. You are now here in Raspberry Central, oh, Jamboree Central. You're in Jamboree Central. And this is where most of the activity is going to happen today. So in a moment, I'm going to sit down and this gentleman who sat in the front row, I'll introduce him in a moment. He's going to come up and talk. And then we're going to have lots of other people talking. And we're going to have panel discussions. And that will happen in here all day long. And for those people who are watching at home on the internet, hello, people on the internet. Yeah, we're talking to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put the coffee down. Keep paying attention. Okay. So. All of this has been streamed out live and we're going to record it so you can watch these talks afterwards if you want. If you go off and do a session later and you find that you want to go and visit the OCR stand or you're in the CPC pie shop and you miss something that was said, you can watch it afterwards as well. So that's what we're doing. And we're doing that with the help of Aaron, the guy with the headphones on over there. It's Glowcaster helping us with that. 
So that's the Jamboree Central. And over in the corner there, we've got our pie shop, our CPC pie shop. Now I live next door to CPC. You don't, unless you're my neighbor. Is Ben Smith here? Okay, he's my neighbor. He lives next door to CPC as well. So we've brought the shop here for you today. So you can go in, you can find out why does Alan keep talking about the CPC shop? You can have a look. And they've got some stuff that you might not have seen before. You can pick it up and you can go, all oh, right, okay, how would this work? And there's people in there who can answer your technical questions like, I've got one of these things. Can I plug it into this? And they might just have the thing that, that helps you. So you can, and they've got robot arms. You can go in, they've got this robot arm that you can program and you can make it do stuff. And just next to that, there's a fantastic guy called Mike Cook. Oh, you see, he looked up, he heard me mention his name. He wasn't paying attention. And he's got loads of gizmos and gadgets and stuff. You can find out about that. But what I don't want you to do is to get too excited when you're in the pie shop. I don't want you going, oh, oh, look at this. Oh, man, this is great. Uh, because the talks are going on in here. And you know what it's like in school. It means it will interrupt what the teacher's talking about. So that's why we've got raspberry ripples outside. It's not ice cream for everybody, so don't get excited. If you go out those doors and keep walking about 10 metres, so that's maybe, if you've got little legs, it's about 20 steps, you'll find a space with some high stools and some low-down chairs. And what I really want you to do, when you hear somebody like Steve Ferber or Carrie-Anne Philbin or, or Amy Mather, when they're finished talking, I'm going to ask them to go out to the Raspberry Ripples. Because you know what ripples do? They, they go outwards, OK? And you can go and talk to them out there. You can say, oh, Amy, I've read about this. I heard about that. And talk to them out there. And get as excited and as loud as you want. And it doesn't disturb what's going on in here for all the people who are watching at home either. So that's the Raspberry Ripples just outside. And then as you walk through the Education Innovation Exhibition and you come back through the main doors, you'll find yourself back at the welcome desk. And you can go there to find out things, what time of things happen. They've got all these. And then just across from the de there, we've got the Raspberry Mastery. So we've got a classroom. We've brought my classroom here today with all the Raspberry Pis. We've got 30 chairs in there so that you can find out what to do with a Raspberry Pi. If you've, who, who has never programmed in Python before? Okay. Well, you can, have it, you can have a go today. You can go in there. There's a session that starts at, uh, what time does it start? One, One o'clock. And we've got two teachers and a Python software developer and going to be in there as well. And you can find out all about using Python. But if that session fills, because there's only 30 spaces, if that fills up, you can, um, you, can, you can do lots of other stuff. Do you know what? I've just realized I should have stopped at a quarter to to let you speak because you've only got 10 minutes. So thank you very much. Enjoy the day. Talk to lots of people. Make new friends and we'll try and help you.